Here come clean, sir. Who are they? Your old man and whoever. Where's your game? I suppose you don't know what's saying. Oh, no. Come clean, you little tramp. Oh, let me alone, will you? I don't know. I tell you, I don't know. You can't kill a copper and get away with it. Caught him cold, robbing the express office. And they shot him. Didn't give a chance. Where's Chuck Gaines and Bing Murdoch, your father's pal? Oh, lay off of me, will you? I don't know. I tell you, I don't you know. You should go to the pen with them for that. It was your old man's gang, Chuck Gaines and Bill Murdoch. You know it. Where are they? Come along, sister. Killing a copper in cold blood. You'll go with them, do you hear? Where's Chuck Gaines? You know his hideout. Where's Bing Murdoch? They got Rose in there now. I hope she don't squeal. Don't worry. She won't. Regular. You better tell us, Rose. Come on. No good holding out. But now. I don't know. I tell you, I don't know. Come clean. Or I'll throw you in the can. Let me alone. Will you pick on somebody your own side, you big stiff? Let me alone, will you? Let me go. I don't know nothing. I'm Inspector MacArthur. I know you all right, Butch MacArthur. I'm sorry for you, Rose Manning. Yes, you are, like... Yes, I am, because I know you're not a crook. Well, why'd you let your coppers pull me out of bed and drag me down here to headquarters? You're in a bad bunch, Rose. Your father... You lay off my father. My dad's all right. He's been... He's been sick. Won't you tell us, Rosie? Tell you what? Who was with him tonight? Who was with who? Your father. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. Now, listen, Rose. One of my men was killed tonight. Your father and his gang did it. You're a liar, do you hear? You're a liar. My dad never carried a gun. He always said... What did he always say, Rose? Well, he always said... Let me see. Uh... He always said, Rosie, my girl, never give a sucker an even break. I'm going to give you one more chance, Rose. I want you to identify a man. I don't know him. Even before you've seen him? this man? I never saw him before in my life. Now what's the use of lying? I ain't lying, I tell you. I'm sorry for you, Rose. Oh, you said that before. Don't pull that stuff. I'm no chump. Your father. I... I have something to tell you about your father. You said plenty. You lay off my father, you and your coppers, trying to frame him. If he was here, you wouldn't dare. Your father is dead, Rose. Is some more of your third degree? It's a pretty cheap trick to try to get me to talk. It isn't a trick. He and his gang killed one of my men. He was shot. Dead? My father dead? Oh, no, he, he couldn't be. My dad never hurt anybody. He's dead, Rose. Now do you know him? Dead? My father did, did no. Oh, no, no, he ain't. Where is he? You killed him. You and your coppers, you murdered him. You've taken away the only thing I had in the world. You said you were sorry for me. You. You were never sorry for anybody. But you will be sorry. You'll be sorry for yourself, Mr. Butch MacArthur. I've got nothing left in the world to live for now. Nothing except to get back at you with your coppers. And I'll get back at you, Mr. Foot MacArthur. I'll get back at you. <laughs> My father did it. <laughs>
ring. Why, fellas? Say, come on, lean on that, will you, kid? Hello, Mr. Bing. Hello. Say, Mr. Spotter, will you hurry up, please? We want to get open sometime tonight. Sure, Mr. Bing. Hey, which one of you guys has been chucking cigarette butts around out there? Who cares? I care. Cut it out, see? <laughs> All right, sweetheart, don't get it. What's the matter, kid? Tired dog? Oh, boy, picking them up and putting them down. Oh, boy, how they hurt tonight. Hi, boy. Get ready, will you? Chuck wants to see you, Bing, back in the office. Hurry on. Who waited on table number six? Oh, I did. Come here. Why don't you turn that check in last time? Well, I turned that check in. Who were the people at the table, did you know? No, I, I know noticed whenever I Chuck Gaines calls Bing to the office like that, we read in the papers next day where some guy gets bumped. Come in. Hello, mother's pet. Better take off its pretty little rompers. Oh, no, Chuck. Gee, I just got into it. Yes, well, Papa will let his little boy play soldier again just as soon as he comes back. Where am I going, Chuck? Another little errand. Ain't you going a little strong, Chuck? You ain't hollering about your job, are you, Bing? No, but... Gee, it's only been a week since Tony Rabina. Tony Rabina was a chump trying to cut in on my uptown trade. Tony used to be your friend. <laughs> There's no friendship in business, Bing. Especially this business. You want to remember that. <laughs> Suppose, just for instance, that you should get a uh, high hat with me. And I wanted to tell Inspector MacArthur a few things about my dear old pal, Bing. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, you wouldn't squeal to a copper. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> That's funny, Bing. A coincidence, kind of. Tony Robina thought I was kidding when I told him to lay off my uptown trade. Or else. I like Tony. I hated to do it. Sometimes I'm afraid I'll never be able to make a businessman out of you, Bing. Hey, what do you mean? I suppose you'd like to be back cracking iron boxes and running away from coppers again, like you used to do in the old days. What's the errand, Chuck? Johnny the Goat. A stool pigeon tells me Johnny the Goat's getting ready to squawk to Inspector MacArthur. You and Johnny started in the booze racket together. That's why. It's the guys that knew you when that know too much. Now listen. What's the use of you and me being sore? We're old friends, ain't we? Now, I've been thinking it over, and I figure there's enough business for both of us. What do you say? That's swell. In front of Weber's drugstore. Hmm, sure. And to show you I'm on the level, I'll come alone. Yeah, right away. About 15 minutes. So long, Johnny, old pal.
Hello, Sugar. Oh, hello, Chuck. Hello. Gee, no wonder this joint is cleaning up with you for a hostess. Give up a little credit to that cigar lighter stuff you sell for booze, Chuck. Well, there's nothing wrong with my booze. They get it right off the boat. <laughs> yeah, they get barnacles right off the boat, too, but nobody eats them. <laughs> That's a hot one. <laughs> barnacles right off the boat. <laughs> You can't blame me, can you, for being stuck on such a smart, cracking, swell girl? <laughs> Why don't you give me a break, Rose? Oh, I don't want to boost myself too heavy, but I've been pretty good to you. You've been swell, Chuck. <laughs> well, it ain't that you don't deserve it. That's why I put you in here as hostess. Gee, it's great, but I get sick of it. Take it easy. We'll get married if you want it that way. Oh, it ain't that, Chuck. You know what it is. You mean your old man and MacArthur. There's no time for marriage or anything else until I've squared that with Butch MacArthur and his coppers. That's all I've been waiting for ever since that night. It's the only reason I stick in this racket. You shouldn't hold a grudge this way, Rose. Grudge? It ain't a grudge, Chuck. Hate. Hate, and it gets worse every day. I could kill him, only that'd be too easy for him. Butch MacArthur has got to suffer like I suffered when he took away the only thing I had in the world. You got me, Rose. Sure, I got you. It ain't this Carter kid, is it? Young Jimmy Carter? Don't be silly, Chuck. He's just a nice kid. That's all right. But he's hanging around here all the time, and I notice that you're at his table a lot. Well, he's a good customer, ain't he? Well, just as long as he ain't anything else. If he was... Save that, Chuck. For some copper. My cue, Chuck. Pardon me while I become Queen of the May. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention for just a minute, please. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you that charming little lady, the toast of the city, that queen of hostesses, Miss Rose Manning. Come on, make a feel at home, folks. Johnny the goat. 
and I guess he had it coming to him. Well, why don't you do something? Well, what are you going to do? Well, get a doctor. Well, he needs an undertaker. A doctor won't do him anything. Gents, check your hats. Oh, hello, Sergeant. I didn't recognize you. Weren't expecting us either, I suppose. Oh, that's glad to see you, Sarge. Old friends are the best friends, you know. Old friends like Johnny the Goat, for instance? What do you mean, Burke? Something happened to Johnny the Goat? Was he... No. Terrible shock, ain't you? Oh, gee, this will break Chuck all up. Him and Johnny was great pals. Wasn't they, though? Where is Chuck? He's in his office. He's been in there all night. Sure. Same as you've been here all night. You don't think for a minute that... <laughs> now listen, Sergeant, you guys better check your hats. Chuck don't like coppers going in there with their hats on. No, I don't, don't he? Well, well. We'll have to be careful of Mr. Chuck Gaines' feelings. We know how sensitive he is. You just won't need checks. I guess I can remember these all right. What can I do for you, Sergeant? Well, you could tell me who killed Johnny the Goat. But you won't. No. You don't tell me. Something happened to Johnny? Well, Johnny was one of my best friends. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, Chuck, that's great. You recited that just lovely. You'll excuse me if I don't bust into tears, won't you? But you know, Burke, that Johnny and me was great pals. Sure you was. And you'll send him an elegant wreath to his funeral, won't you, Chuck? Like you sent to Tony Rabina. Being friends with you is kind of fatal these days, ain't it, Chuck? You're a pretty sassy cop, ain't you? And I got a good mind to slap you right in that loud mouth of yours. <laughs> oh, if you only would. I'd give a month's pay to have you try it. But you won't. It's a long time since you did any killing yourself, ain't it, Chuck? And then you had to be scared into it. If you and that fathead MacArthur know so much, why don't you pinch me? <laughs> First time you hid behind the dame's skirt. And you've been undercover ever since. MacArthur will never frame me. No, you'll frame yourself, Chuck. You all do. You're supposed to be wise crooks. You can't bulldoze me. Bulldoze? Chuck, how you talk. Just a little social call. <laughs> we knew you'd have an alibi for Johnny the Goat. You ain't changed your mind about slapping me in my loud mouth, have you? No? Too bad. Too bad. Well, so long, Chuck. See you in jail sometime. Hey, ain't that young Jimmy? Oh, what of it? Sitting with Chuck Gaines' girl. And looking like it went for her hook, line, and sinker. Rose is all right. But what did the old man say? Leave it to me, understand? You ain't seen a thing. All right. Yes, 
again. Hey, what's the big idea, Bert? This is my busy night. I'll say you're busy. Busy sitting in the corner holding hands. Not holding hands. Was I, Bert? Isn't that terrible? How long has this been going on? Young Jimmy Carter? Oh, he's been hanging around. Young Jimmy who? Hey, what is this, a third degree? You wouldn't fool me, would you, Rose? Fool a big, smart girl like you? Me, a poor, defenseless girl? Did you say Carter? You heard me. Do you mean to say you don't know who he really is? He's a darn nice kid. That's all I know or care. And he shouldn't be hanging out in a joint like this. His name ain't Carter. It's MacArthur. MacArthur? Young Jimmy MacArthur, Inspector MacArthur's boy. Is that on the level, Burke? Is he the son of Butch MacArthur? That nice kid, the son of that... I thought you'd like to know. Well, I'll be... Burke, you sure have done me a big favor. I don't know how to thank you. That's all right. I knew you didn't want to get the inspector sore. That is, any more sorer. He would be sore, wouldn't he? His kid hanging out in Chuck Gaines' joint? Gosh. Go on, Burke, say it. Hanging out with Chuck Gaines' girl. But you ain't, Rose. You and I are the only ones who believe I ain't, Burke. Butch MacArthur is sure of it. And now his son walks right in. Young Jimmy seems a little stuck on you at that. I guess he is. Just between you and me, I was getting a little bit stuck on him. But no more, huh? No more, Burke. I give you my word. Yes, sir, you can bank on that. It's a good thing I happened to see you to tip you off. A good thing. <laughs> it's the best thing ever happened. It's wonderful. So long, Rose. So long, Burke. Be out, Sarge. Well, well, he did remember. Now that just goes to show what can be accomplished by patience and training. Throw him a fish. Listen, Rose, if that big flat foot done anything to hurt your feelings... It ain't, Burke. It's Butch MacArthur. Yeah, that goes for him, too. I'd tap him in a minute if you'd say the word. You know I'm stuck on you, Rose. I'd do anything in the world if you'd only give me a break. You better not let Chuck hear you. Ah, uh, Chuck, I'd run him bow-legged. Say, Bing, there is one thing you can do for me. Let you and me have a little secret, huh? About you and me? No fooling? And about Burke talking to me. Not a word about that to Chuck, get me? You sure you don't want me to tap that smart Alec copper? Oh, MacArthur. Nothing must happen to Butch MacArthur. Except what's going to happen to him. Something happened? No, nothing. You're crying. Jimmy, are you like all the others? Just playing with a woman's heart? Tell me what's happened, sweetheart. You said your name was Carter, and I believed you. Now listen. You must listen to me. It wasn't to deceive you. You told me you loved me. You almost asked me to, to marry you. I still want you to. Rose, darling, please don't cry. I do love you. How could I ever trust you now? wasn't to fool you. I just did it because... 
Well, I thought it might make a difference in a place like this if they knew I were a policeman's son. Wasn't there any other reason? Well, my father, he dad would have a fit if he ever found out I hung around a nightclub. What would he think of me? Well, he'd never believe I could have met such a wonderful girl in a place like this. He must be hard, your father. <laughs> you don't know my dad. They call him Butch MacArthur, don't they? Well, that's just a nickname. Wait till you meet him and you'll find out what a great fella he is. And he'll know what a wonderful girl you are. Jimmy, do you think he'll like me? Well, he'll love you, Rose. Like I love you. You gonna tell him about us? I thought so. Well, don't misunderstand. I'm going to tell him. I'm proud to tell him. Well, I won't feel right until you do. I feel I shouldn't see you again until he knows. Well, I'll tell him right away. Dad will understand. Dad always understands. He always understands. Gee, you and your dad must be great friends. Oh, we're pals. Well, ever since I was that high. Since Mother died. Dad always says I'm all he has to live for. I guess it would just about break his heart if anything happened to you. What can happen? What can happen now when I found the loveliest, sweetest girl? you told me, young Jimmy. I knew you'd understand, Dad. I told her you would. She knew that you were going to tell me? She insisted. That shows she's the right kind of a girl, doesn't it, Dad? Oh, she insisted, eh? Young Jimmy, there are two times when nobody can give a man advice. One is when he's drinking himself to death. The other is when he's in love. Or think she is. Well, I can always take your advice, Dad. Sure. Uh, <laughs> we're pals, aren't we? It's dangerous, young Jimmy. Well, you try me. I said that I was glad that you told me, and I am, because maybe I can set you straight. Now, don't be fooled, son. She knew all the while who you were. How can you say that, Dad? She told me herself. Rose Manning is framing you to get me. Dad, what are you talking about? Her father was killed by one of my men. She swore to get even, and it looks like she's doing it. That's not true. Her father was killed in an accident. Well, so she told you that, eh? A rose wouldn't lie. Now look here, Dad. Talking like this to your father... It's not my father when you talk like that. It's a policeman. I told you it was dangerous to give advice. You're trying to bully me. Say, if she's such a sweet girl, why do you always have to meet her at Gaines Joint? Because she has to work for a living and work hard. I'll tell you why you have to meet her there. Now, go easy, son, because I'm going to tell you what everybody else knows. I know what you're going to say. You're going to tell me she's Chuck Gaines' girl, but she isn't, do you hear? She isn't. You can stand there and smile and pretend to be so wise, but I know her and you don't. All right, son. It isn't all right. All right. Not when you try your copper tricks to dirty her up to give her a bad name. Steady, young Jimmy. She's clean and fine and, and decent. And you and all your frame-up gang can't change that. I love her and I'm proud of her. You're it. all I've got, son. You claim she tried to frame me into marrying her. Why, I had to beg her. We'd have been married before this, but she made me come and tell you first. Well, I've told you now. Now, wait, Jimmy. Don't be hasty. More of your advice. We've always been pals, son. Well, we aren't anymore. Jimmy! Pals. Pals with Butch MacArthur, with a copper.
You're in charge of headquarters till I come back, Burke. Where are you going, Charlie? I'm going calling on Chuck Gaines. Take your hat, Inspector. Where's James? In his office. Check it. You can't get away with it, James. You got me wrong, I tell you. You got me wrong. Don't kid yourself. I've had your number ever since you were a pup. And a mongrel pop at that. I didn't know he was your boy. Honest. You say that again and I'll jam it down your lion throat. Your front teeth with it. You're trying to dirty up my boy, you rat, to get even with me. And you know it. Oh, you're always making it tough for me. You and your coppers trying to frame me. Frame you? I don't have to frame on you, Gaines. I've been letting you get away with it because I knew that sooner or later you'd put yourself in the chair. But if you try this on my boy, I'll come for you myself. You get me? And there won't be enough of you left to strap into a chair. Oh, now. Shut up! If you so much as let him set his foot into this joint again, I'll run you out of the country. You and her, too. Maybe Rose knew, but I didn't. Hiding behind the dame again. And what a dame. Well, it shows what associating with such as you do for anybody. Before you hug up with her, Rose Manning was a decent sort of a... Did someone mention my name? If I ever called you by your right name, you... Good heavens. It's dear old Inspector MacArthur. Inspector, darling. Now, don't give me any of your lip. Won't you offer the inspector a little drink, Chuck? I'd rather drink rat poison. Splendid. Some rat poison for the inspector, Chuck. I remember when you refused to recognize this yellow sneak. Well, that night in headquarters. Yes, I must thank you for introducing him to me. Rose, tell the inspector. We didn't know, did we? About his boy? Why well, I knew. You. But Chuck didn't know. Honest. Papa. You'll never marry Jimmy. Well, there is one thing in the way. I don't like his family connections. He'll come to his senses. You come to your senses, Butch MacArthur. You know darn well I can marry Jimmy any time I want to. Well, before you try it, remember that he's all I've got in this world. You didn't remember that, did you? The night you murdered my father. Murder? Yeah, it's a waste of time talking to a pair of cheap crooks. Anything but cheap. Say, yeah, I've had my little say. Now you two watch your step. For if my boy comes into this place, or if he even sees you... Oh, he'll see me all right. If he does... I'll salt you away where he can't see you, you and this buzzard with you. And I'll be only too glad for the excuse. Not going, Papa. You heard me, you... Tut, tut, Papa. Sorry I didn't tip you off, Chuck. I knew I'd get action, but I didn't know I'd get it so quick. Sure got old MacArthur in a spot, ain't we? I've waited five years for this. And it's sweet. Holding out on me, huh? Take it easy. I've had enough rough stuff for one evening. Why didn't you tell me about the kid? Oh, I was saving that for a pleasant surprise. <laughs> well, I'm surprised, all right, but I ain't kidded a little bit. And I suppose you'll be telling me next you're not stuck on this young guy. Don't be a sap, Chuck. I won't. 
Butch MacArthur needn't worry about you marrying his kid because you ain't. Say, I'm sore at Butch MacArthur, not Jimmy. You've done enough to that poor kid already. And he's daffy about you. That's what I mean. All right. We'll just go to work on him. Say, where do you get that wee stuff? This is my party. I'm the one who's sore at Butch MacArthur. And I suppose you think I'm crazy about him. <laughs> or that I ought to be tickled to death because you're stuck on that son of his. Don't kid me. And don't kid yourself. You've been waiting five years for a chance to get even. And I've been waiting five years for you. Now you get your chance and you weaken. Well, I won't weaken, you get that? And I won't let you weaken. Say, Frank. You see the cops outside? Yeah, they're certainly watching this joint since that night the inspector was here. Let them watch. It keeps them busy. Hey, Bing. Chuck wants to see you back in the office. Another errand, huh? It'll be in the papers in the morning. Hey, you get me, guys. You'll talk yourself right into the cemetery yet. Oh, yeah? Why not, Cookie? I've done many a little errand for this guy, but it ain't often I get one that I really enjoy. Another errand, huh? Chuck's getting too strong. That's what I always say. But this time, I got no argument. Well, it's none of my business. You think it ain't? Say, I'm doing you a favor. Who is it, Bing? You won't tell Chuck I told you. Go on, tell me. You don't like Butch MacArthur, do you? Oh, Chuck can't get away with it, not with him. That's the catch. It ain't him at all. It's that fresh kid of his. Oh, you can't, Bing. No, don't fret, doll baby. To do you a little something, I'd take a chance with all the coppers... But you can't, I tell you. Hey, you ain't went and fell for this punk or something, have you? Where's Chuck? Now, listen, Rose, don't you go telling Chuck I took... Hey, Rose, hey... Oh, now ain't that just like a daffy dame? I get back. Okay. Hello, punk. Hello, Bing. Ain't seen you for days. Well, I didn't want Chuck or Rose to get in any jam on account of me. Oh, Papa Spank, huh? I wouldn't have come at all only Chuck sent for me. I'll see you later, Bing. Yeah. I'll say you'll see me later. <laughs> you don't want me to get into trouble, huh? Not you care whether I get the chair. You want him alive so you can marry him. But he's only a kid, Chuck. You can't do it. Tell me I can't. At midnight. It's 11 now. I won't let you. Now I'll tell one. Listen, I told you I wouldn't let you weaken, and I won't. You're going to stay right here and be a good little girl. It's only for an hour. I'll squawk to the coppers. I swear I will. We've been waiting five years, you and me, sugar. Five long years for you to get even with Butch MacArthur and for me to get you. Well, tonight's the night for me and for you. Besides, I'd hate to disappoint Bing. It's the first errand he's enjoyed in months. <laughs> All right, Chuck. I'm going to save him if I have to squawk to Butch MacArthur himself. <laughs> what do you say, Chuck? 
me. Oh, no, you're not stuck on that guy. Let me go, you yellow. I'll be yellow, you. Let me go. I will after all. Let me go, do you hear? I will when I get good and ready. Get in there. Sure I will, sugar. At midnight. <laughs> hey, that Carter kid is out here. I'm awfully sorry oh, about that. Oh, that's all right, kid. Your old man's bark is worse than his bite. He just trying to scare you. Well, he can't stop me and Rose. <laughs> I guess you and her been managing to uh, meet, ain't you? <laughs> Here and there, huh? Holding hands. <laughs> that a boy. <laughs> eh? Oh, he is, is he? What's that? Go easy. Yeah. I'll go easy. You just stick around and see. I'm letting Rose have the night off. Yeah, have a little surprise party for her. It's really for you, too. Uh, an engagement party, kind of. See, that's swell of you, Chuck. Pleasure's mine. We'll have it at High Ridge Roadhouse. We'll all go out together in my car and, uh... You wait, and we'll pick you up. Wait here? No, no. This is a surprise party. Now, let's see. Uh, suppose you be in front of Weber's Drugstore at midnight. That's half an hour. Waiter! Oh, no. no never mind. No. It... Oh, me. Don't be... Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'll have time to get some flowers. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah, get some flowers. Uh, get a nice wreath. Uh, kind of. A wreath? Yeah. <laughs> I guess you don't know how serious this is, my being in love with Rose. Uh, I got a good idea. <coughs> well, better get going. Midnight in front of Weber's. All right, Chuck. Good night. <laughs> Goodbye, old pal. Four. Come back, because this place won't be here. <laughs> hey, can I make a speech, too? Just to show you Chuck Gaines is a hot sport, you needn't mind swearing them checks on your way out. I'm some elocutionist, ain't I? You'll be a good electrocutionist before I'm through with you. Say, you know any more jokes? Yes, sir, well, thank you, old boy. <laughs> quite all right. Good bye, Chuck. Uh, 
Check your hat, mister. Don't hurry away, mister. Pick off your hat. Inspector MacArthur don't like no sluggers coming to his party with a hat on. It's a pinch. How quick he picks up things. Bill, throw him another fish. Come on. Hey, I couldn't help it, could I? He wasn't there. Who wasn't where? Hey, it's you I'm talking to. Oh, me? Say, where is he? Where is she? I'm beginning to wonder about that myself. Let's take a look. All right, Bert, go ahead. Oh, take out my... Crossed. She crossed me to... So she's run out on you, Gaines. Well, you ought to know better than to trust that kind. Your kind. department, Inspector. These guys don't act like cops. They act like firemen. Well, let's go. I want to get my bondsman as quick as I can and get out. All right. Hey, you don't suppose something happened to him? Shut up, you fat hit. Hey, is it my fault? Where is he? I think I got a good idea about that. All right, come on. have come here to my apartment with me, Jimmy. It's the first place Chuck will look for us. Do you think I'd leave you here alone to face oh, that? Oh, Chuck won't touch me. It's you. He'll be looking for you, Jimmy, don't you see? I only see you, dear. I'll go when you go with me to marry me. But you promised. Don't you understand yet? I promised only to get even with your father. I never meant it. You meant it, and you mean it now. For five years now, I've waited to get even, to break your father's heart, to make him suffer. And you've been sick of your revenge ever since it's been in your hands. Oh, please go away. Hurry. You're not in love with me. You're in love with a girl you think I am, a girl I never was. I'm in love with the sweet girl you really are, the girl you've tried to forget. Sweet? Me? I'll tell you how sweet I am. I beg Chuck to frame you. Just to get even, I'd let him go through with it. Now, am I sweet? Then why did you come to Weber's to warn me? Well, I weakened. For me? Oh, you poor fool, I did it for Chuck. I didn't want him to get in bed. Is that the truth, Rose? Why shouldn't I keep Chuck out of trouble? Ain't he always been good to me? Ain't I his girl? Oh, if you weren't dizzy, you'd have known that. Everybody knows I'm Chuck Gaines' girl. Everybody except you. Rose, I oh, don't... Oh, get out, will you? Get out and stay out. I got in bad enough trying to keep you from being cooked. Now, get out before there's more trouble. It won't do. You're lying. Because you are in love with me. You aren't Chuck Gaines' girl. It ain't lies, I tell you. And even if you were, it wouldn't make any difference to me. It's him, it's Chuck. What do you want, Chuck? Let me in. Let me in before I kick down this door. Wait till I get some clothes on, will you? He mustn't see you here, for my sake. Please, please wait here.
go in my bedroom and stay there. But I... You've got to promise, no matter what happens, that you stay there. Unless he tries to hurt you. Promise. All right. All right, Chuck, wait a minute, can't you? Double-crossing little tramp. I got a good mind to cook you right now. Go on. I wouldn't put it past you. You tipped him off. I told you I would, didn't I? Where is he? What do you care? <laughs> That's rich. What do I care? Well, send him away. You're lying. I ain't a very good liar, Chuck. I tell you, I'm through with him. I heard that before. This time, I'm going to be sure that you're through with him. Oh, forget it, Chuck. Butch McArthur send you to the chair. Yes, he will. Butch McArthur won't send anybody to the chair. That old fool is just the same as dead right now. What happened? Butch McArthur kicked over my joint tonight. So I sent Bing to look for him. Oh. So that's where he is, hmm? <laughs> this is perfect. Bing's looking for the old man, and I take the boy. No, Chuck! Get away from that door! No, Get away from it! Get away from it! did it, Rose, with his own gun, and I'm glad of it. But you've got to make a getaway now, Jimmy. He's still got a gang. Bing Murdoch will... Oh, Jimmy, your father. Bing Murdoch is looking for him now. What are you saying? Didn't you hear Chuck say he sent Bing after him? Where? Jimmy, get down to headquarters. Hurry, maybe there's still time. Suppose I find you here alone with... Jimmy, please, hurry. I'll try to get but headquarters. Oh, please, Jimmy, hurry. Your father. Probably blew town, left us holding the bag. What happened? Oh, it's what ain't happened. I tossed a slug at Butch McArthur. Did you? No. Fired twice, too. There was a copper with him, and I got the copper. Well, what'd you come here for? Well, the cops are looking for the gang. For me and Chuck. Well, say, don't let them find you here in my apartment. They'll think that... Sure. That's what I want them to think. That you've been here all the time? You're going to be my little alibi, Cookie. And that ain't all. Say... <laughs> I'm kind of glad Chuck blew. This is perfect. You're going to be plenty happy with me, baby doll. Oh, Bing. And you're going to let him find you here, huh? And how? A perfect little alibi. 
I claim I came here as soon as I got out on bail, and you'll say I've been here ever since. You're clever, Bing. Uh, no one ever gives me credit. Come on, sweet little mama. We'll make a great team. Ain't you the prize package, though? Come on. Gee, you're a strong guy, Bing. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming here. Oh, gee, ain't it grand? Yes, but wait, now let's get this straight. What are we going to tell them? We tell them I came here about 1.30. That's right after I got out on bond, see? And I've been here ever since. You came here about 1.30, and you've been here with me ever since. Mm. That's a cinch to remember. Say, slip us another kiss, will you, beautiful? Sure, 20 of them. After. Let's make this alibi a good one. They'll think we've been having a real party. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> Gee, I'm proud of you, Cookie. <laughs> Who is it? Open up, Benny. So it's you, eh? Well, this is luck. Oh, hello, Inspector. You're under arrest. Who? Oh, me? Yes, you. What for? Murder. When? One of my men was killed by a shot out of a taxicab window about half an hour ago. <laughs> There's some mistake, Inspector. I was here half an hour ago. And longer. How much longer? <laughs> Always the gentleman, ain't you? Don't want to soil the lady's reputation, eh? That's a laugh. Her reputation. Well, Manning, what about it? Was he here? Of course he was here. He came in about 1.30, and he's been here ever since. What'd that tell you? Some alibi. Since when have you been beating Chuck James time? Oh, I ain't so slow. You ain't so slow either, are you? I guess I just seem fast to a copper. First Chuck James, and now Bing Murdoch. Well, thanks, Burke. I am a little chilly. Go away. Go away. Hey, you put it there. You're framing me. Save that for the reporters. You're among friends now. Two shells gone. Where are they, Bing? Fire. This gun's been fired not so long ago. Keep out of my bedroom, you big stiff. Get particular, aren't you? Go ahead, Burke. Come on. No, keep Come out on. of there. You Come can't on. go in. Oh, Bing. Bing, why did you do it? Why didn't but, you make a getaway? Hey, what's the matter with you? Why didn't you listen to me and go while you had a chance? <laughs> Hey, what is this? Lay off of me, will you? Two empty shells, Bing, that fit your gun. Don't kick me, MacArthur. I know your tricks. Is that one of my tricks, too? Bring him here. Here since 1.30, eh? You know I'm beginning to believe you. Why, it's him. Chuck, dead? Surprised, ain't you? Take him away. What? Look, I, you, look. Say, you, you don't think for a minute that I had anything to do with that alibi, Bing. Ain't that the limit? I've done many's a little errand for that guy, and I've never grabbed him. Here's one I don't do, and you nailed well, me. I'm sorry, because it was all together too easy for James. I've been looking forward to sending both of you up together. You dirty, double-crossing little mucker. Oh, Take her along, too. She's in it if I am. Take you. I don't think I'm going to overlook that, do you? Get some clothes on, Manning. You're coming, too. And you'll marry my boy whenever you want to, eh? Lay off me, MacArthur.
Come on, come clean, Manning. Don't put on that dumb act for us. We know you. There's something screwy about it. You can't get away with it, Manning. Bing will squawk if you don't. I suppose you don't even know they killed a the copper. Oh, no. You'll go to the chair with Bing. Think don't that over. Why you shouldn't. Open up, Manning, if you know what's good for you. It's a tough spot, Rose. You boys will pardon me if I don't seem interested in these parlor games of yours. Don't get gay. Come through. You're a good fellow, Cassidy. You're not exactly bright. Yeah, wait till McCartney gets a hold of you. Certainly. That's all right, boys. Get out. You win, Butch MacArthur. I go up, and I don't marry a boy. Why not? Well, don't rub it in. You said once it was on account of his family connections. It's as good a reason as any other, isn't it? But you didn't beat me. He did. He's told me, Rose. Young Jimmy told me everything. That boy's too darn square to get along in this world. I just want to tell you, Rose, that I'm not holding you. You can go whenever you want to. Go? Go where? No place for me to go now. You better lock me up. Once I said I was sorry for you. I seem to remember that, Frank. I'm sorry now, but I'm sorry for myself. We could have squared this whole thing up, you and me. If I hadn't been such a stubborn old fool. I guess I've been pretty stubborn myself. Well, if you really don't want me, I'd better be running along. Now, just a moment, Rose. Will you do me a favor? I want you to look at a prisoner for me. I don't know him. Even before you see him? Rose. Rose, my girl, try and forget your objections to his family. Chucking cigarette butts around out there. Who cares? I care. Cut it out, see? <laughs> All right, sweetheart. Don't get it. Huh. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Bad dog? Oh, boy. Picking them up and putting them down. Oh, boy, how they hurt tonight. Hi, boy. Get ready, will you? Chuck wants to see you, Bing. Back in the office. Hurry on. Who waited on table number six? Oh, I did. Come here. Why don't you turn that check in last time? Well, I turned that check in. Who were the people at the table? Did you know them? No, I don't I noticed whenever I Chuck know. Gaines calls Bing to the office like that, we read in the papers next day where some guy gets bumped. Come in.
Mr. Who Trump. are they? Your own man and whoever. Where's your game? I suppose you don't know a thing. No, no. I'm clean, you little tramp. Oh, let me alone, will you? I don't know. I tell you, I don't you know. You can't kill a copper and get away with it. Caught him cold, robbing the express office. And they shot him. Didn't give a chance. Where's Chuck Gaines and Bing Murdoch, your father's pal? Oh, lay off of me, will you? I don't know. I tell you, I don't you know. You should go to the pen with him for that. It was your old man's gang, Chuck Gaines and Bill Murdoch. You know it. Where are they? Come along, sister. Killing a copper in cold blood. You'll go with him, do you hear? Where's Chuck Gaines? You know his hideout. Where's Bing Murdoch? They got Rose in there now. I hope she don't squeal. <laughs> don't worry. She won't. Regular. You better tell us, Rose. Come on. No good holding up. But now. I don't know. I tell you, I don't know. Come clean. Or I'll throw you in the can. Let me alone, will you? Pick on somebody your own side, you big stiff. Let me alone, will you? Let me go. I don't know nothing. I'm Inspector MacArthur. I know you all right, Butch MacArthur. I'm sorry for you, Rose Manning. Yes, you are, like... Yes, I am, because I know you're not a crook. Well, why'd you let your coppers pull me out of bed and drag me down here to headquarters? You're in a bad bunch, Rose. Your father... You lay off my father. My dad's all right. He's been... He's been sick. Won't you tell us, Rosie? Tell you what? Who was with him tonight? Who was with who? Your father. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. Now, listen, Rose. One of my men was killed tonight. Your father and his gang did it. You're a liar, do you hear? You're a liar. My dad never carried a gun. He always said... What did he always say, Rose? Well, he always said... Let me see, uh... He always said, Rosie, my girl, never give a sucker an even break. I'm going to give you one more chance, Rose. I want you to identify a man. I don't know him. Even before you've seen him? this man? I never saw him before in my life. Now what's the use of lying? I ain't lying, I tell you. I'm sorry for you, Rose. Oh, you said that before. Don't pull that stuff. I'm no chump. Your father. I... I have something to tell you about your father. You said plenty. You lay off my father, you and your coppers, trying to frame him. If he was here, you wouldn't dare. Your father is dead, Rose. Is this some more of your third degree? It's a pretty cheap trick to try to get me to talk. It isn't a trick. He and his gang killed one of my men. He was shot. Dead? My father did... Oh, no, he, he couldn't be. My dad never hurt anybody. He's dead, Rose. Now do you know him? Dead? My father did, did no. Oh, no, no, he ain't. Where is he? You killed him. You and your coppers, you murdered him. You've taken away the only thing I had in the world. You said you were sorry for me. You. You were never sorry for anybody. But you will be sorry. You'll be sorry for yourself, Mr. Butch MacArthur. I've got nothing left in the world to live for now. Nothing except to get back at you with your coppers. And I'll get back at you, Mr. Butch MacArthur. I'll get back at you. My father did it. <laughs>